Li Xiaotang is the deputy dean of the China Institute for South-South Cooperation in Agriculture. She's also written extensively about agriculture in China. Uh, Professor, we know that farmers are using apps to track their yields, or using drones and robotic tractors to increase their efficiency. What are the pros and cons of this approach, and what are some of the other ways technology is being used in farming? Hello, Annie. The, the development of intellectual agriculture in China depends on four uh, key technologies, like uh, in artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, big data, and the geographic in information system. All of these technologies have been developed well and fast in China. So now the market for intellectual agricultural developed quite fast in China also. Uh, the total volume reached 2 billion in 2015, and it is expected to reach about 4 billion in 2020. Like, for example, the unmanned uh, aerial vehicles in plant protection, the intellectual uh, controlling and the information system in uh, greenhouse, agricultural, and the animal husbandry, and also the smart uh, fertilization measurement uh, are very popular and wide used in China nowadays. Is uh, there a downside to removing some of the human element, manual labor, to this process in the equation? What are some of the cons here? Uh, actually, I think the fact in China is the labor force in agriculture declined from 70% uh, in 1978 to 26% in, uh, in 2018. Uh, due to urbanization and industrialization. About 300 million agricultural laborers have moved from rural to urban, from uh, agricultural to long agricultural. So the traditional labor-intensive agricultural development model is facing challenges, and uh, substituting technology for laborers is uh, is uh, becoming the main uh, main fundamental lead of agricultural development in China. So I think the the big challenge for China is uh, how to train the agricultural laborers to be more qualified to match the qualifications of the uh, intellectual agricultural development. And what would you say as far as uh, what you've witnessed over the years, how using technology in agriculture has grown? Is it still growing? Yeah, it is, uh, the, the high technology is growing in agricultural development in China uh, because they have uh, a lot of privileges to use these new technologies. Yeah, the firstly, is I think the new technology can can monitor and trace the change and the trends of agricultural resource and promote to use them more rational rationally. And secondly, I, I think this uh, kind of new technology can improve the efficiency of agricultural input, like uh, uh, pesticides, uh, fertilizer, and the water and to save the agricultural producing cost. And the most important thing is it can be reduced, can reduce the agricultural pollution. Uh, last but not least, I think uh, uh, the intellectual agricultural can promote the, uh, the standardized, standardization of agricultural production can improve the quality of agricultural products to secure food safety. So I think since recently, Chinese government is considering how to promote to you to adopt new technology in agricultural development. All right, Professor Li Xiaotang, thank you so much for joining us from Beijing.